Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today is February 5th with yet another video tutorial and we're going to focus on designing a front and back of a business card in Adobe Illustrator CC. So if you're a designer uh, and you haven't yet had the request to design a business card, you're going to. I personally don't carry them around, but they seem to be popular, okay? <laughs> so uh, if you've never designed one, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, when it comes to setting up the document, uh, you don't always have to do that depending on you know what printers you're going to go through. Usually they can offer template files for Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. Uh, but we're going to set it up from scratch just so you can understand you know what bleed and trim are and all that stuff. And then we'll actually just design a pretty simple one. Uh, for a front and back and then tomorrow we will focus on taking that business card in Photoshop CC and presenting it in sort of a cool kind of 3D view and this is of course kind of a good idea if you're going to be showcasing your work on a portfolio site or on your own website or whatever. Alright so we're going to go ahead and get started as always check out designcourse.com and subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't yet. Alright let's get started. All right, so let's get started here in Adobe Illustrator. We'll go to File New. Now, also before I even do that, I uh, we want to you know if you're using a site like Vistaprint to get your business card printers, or you know who you're going to get them printed through, whether it be a business card or anything that's print related, check and see if they have a template file. Usually they'll have you know like Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator or EPS template files for the business cards or any other type of print, and that way they'll already have the document that you know they know they prefer or use or whatever and that way you don't have to set things up manually like we're about to do so we're going to assume you don't so we'll rename this to business cards oh my god come on now all right so number of artboards one that's default 3.5 inches so make sure you change the inches by two inches pretty much a standard business card size and then the bleed by default the bleed is zero just click up once and they're all changed to an eighth of an inch which is 0.125 all right, so CMYK, make sure that's there. That is by default usually, so we'll hit OK. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit Control-1. That's 100% view, and I'm going to go up to about 300%. Now we need to define, uh, define some safe zones through uh, the, with our help of some guides. So hit Control-R to get out a ruler. And an eighth of an inch is, see right here is one inch from zero to one. So an eighth of an inch would be right here. Same thing with this portion right here. So to get our guides out, so to create a horizontal, we go up top, left click, drag, put it right there. Take this, left click, drag to the right, do it again over here, and then down here. So let me def uh, just kind of explain what's going on here. First you have uh, the bleed which is all the way out here, it's this red line. And what that means is, you know, if you have any type of uh, background that's applied, whether it be a solid color or a pattern, you want it to extend just beyond this bleed area right here. Uh, so then you have your kind of your safe area which is inside of this line right here. So that means if you have text or whatever and you don't want it to be real close, well, you put it in here like you, uh, so you have some margins, just so you have a good idea. Uh, so basically what's being cut is right around here, uh, the actual the, the 3.5 by 2 inches. So it, the, uh, I guess you could say the, the rectangle that we're about to create, it doesn't have to go beyond this, just right around it. So we'll take the rectangle tool left click and drag it right to around that size. All right, so we just want white. We don't want a stroke, just hit zero. And let's get out our layers over here. And I'm gonna take this, just put it at the bottom of the guides and lock that so we can't really move it. Now I'm going to create another rectangle. So and it's gonna be roughly around this size, kind of half. And I'm going to use just this color over here. All right. 
All right, so far so good. Now what I want to do is I uh, you need to download the project files if you kind of want to follow along with this part. Uh, I'm going to use the designcourse.com symbol. So I paused the video, I opened it up. This is what you're presented with, and I don't know why I haven't. Uh, let me go ahead and get that Pathfinder out and merge this, although it's not necessary. All right, just copy that and click out of there. Paste that in. Hold Shift, Alt, and scale this thing down. All right, so when it comes to business card design, generally speaking, you know, simple is better. <laughs> so, uh, some people try to stuff so much information, you know, it just looks ridiculous. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, type tool, and I'm going to type in designcourse.com, Gary Simon, CEO, because I'm an important guy, or not. And then I, <laughs> we're going to take this, make it white, and we are going to, where's a line? Yeah, take this. Take all the text and just kind of right align it up there. And I'm going to use a font called Lato or Lato. I'm not sure. Lato. I've, I'll link that too. Hopefully I remember to do that after the video in the description. And change this just to light. I'm going to scale this down a little bit. Uh, we'll take the designcourse.com, make that bold. All right. And I'm just kind of trying to get a view of this. If you hold Alt and then use your scroll wheel, you know, you can just zoom up and down. And hitting your space bar, you can move it around. Okay, so I, let's see. Yeah, I think we'll move this up here. And if you want to pull down another guy, just, just make sure those are kind of even with each other. Yeah, it looks pretty close. All right. And uh, now let's go ahead and put... That's irritating. So touchy. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put some text down here. Now I'm just going to put two bits of information. One will just be like a fake number. All right, and I'm going to move that over here. Lato Light, or Lato, I honestly have no clue how to pronounce that thing. All right, and then just copy that, and I'm just going to put contact, ooh, no, contact at designcourse.com. All right, and I'm going to call that it. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Now what I want to do is let me get these guides out here. Where is that last guide? Hide that. Uh, now what we want to do is save this. So I went ahead and uh, paused this and saved it as front.ai illustrator. And then I'm going to save this again as back. So now we're going to create a backside to this. So very simple. Uh, I'm going to delete all the text. We're going to take this thing. Well, first we're going to we just get rid of the white one. Take this, go all the way. Now this will be our uh, background color. And did I delete? Oh, I deleted that thing, uh, the logo. I wanted to keep the logo. Let me go back to the front and just copy this paste it in there and then I kinda just wanted to do something a little bit abstract in a sense maybe turn this thing a little bit okay and then I then what do I, what do I want to do uh, okay yeah we'll go ahead we'll take both of these layers and we'll go to Window Pathfinder and we'll click on minus front. Okay, so basically that just makes this center portion transparent. And I should have left that other layer there, no big deal. Bring this, uh, create another one. 
we'll put it at the bottom or behind of it behind it and then what we want to do is let's see here come here to gradient we'll double click on the color and just make it a little bit darker oops kind of like that it's kind of like a watermark basically and that will serve as the back of our card okay uh, so let me save that all right so now what we want to do I uh, let's see here let's get both of these things open see if there's anything else that we kind of want to change now generally when it comes to uh, you know say for example this is it this is what we want to use what you'd want to do is kind of save two copies of the front and if you have any text on your back save two copies much in the same way but right now there's no text on our back so everything's kind of converted to outlines we'll call one copy front uh, and then one copy front dash outline and the, the illustrator options are showing up off screen hit OK and then you want to take everything and go to object path offset wait what am I doing no control shift and no sorry about that slow moment uh, that converts everything to outlines so that text you can no longer edit it but that's why we saved you know, the front.ai that we still have where we can still make adjustments. But the reason we change this, of course, to outlines is because when you send it to uh, somebody to get printed, if they don't have that font, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to get all messed up. So you have to convert everything to outlines. All right, so uh, that is the design, or these are the designs, of course, for our front and back. So tomorrow, we're going to use Adobe Photoshop and uh, to basically take the front and back and kind of present it, the front and back design in a cool kind of perspective 3D sort of environment. So why would you do that? I mean, uh, you know, a lot of sites like Behance.net and Dribble.com, uh, when you're trying to showcase your work, you know, maybe you're, you want to become a business card designer or, or some type of like a, an identity designer, for example. Uh, it's nice to kind of showcase things on your portfolio uh, and it also helps sell your uh, your concepts to the clients. So we will do that tomorrow. All right. So as always, check out designcourse.com. And if you haven't yet, subscribe here on YouTube. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.